Right you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a mouse cursor or pointer disappeared in Windows 11 or Windows 10. So I have a wireless mouse here and I'm going to show you some of the steps you can take to try and resolve and fix this problem. So first off let's take a look at what's actually happening. I turned off the mouse and turned it back on and I resync the mouse and basically it's still not working. I still can't see the actual cursor on the screen. So let me quickly show you what is actually happening. You can see there is no cursor or pointer on the screen. It's completely disappeared. And this means that you can't use the mouse to use your functionality to try and fix it. And I'll show you ways to get around that by using the keyboard itself. And I'll show you how to reset this wireless mouse if you're using a wireless mouse like this. So first off, I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna turn it off and just pull this down, there's a little lever here, and then push it back up and turn it back on. Once I've done this, I'm gonna push the little reset button here, hold this for five seconds, and make sure it's a good full five seconds. You should see the light change on the actual mouse itself. Then once you've done that, you can release the button and basically turn it on and off again. If your mouse has uh, batteries inside, you want to make sure you can check the battery to make sure the battery is working properly. So I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on again. And hopefully this will resolve the issue. Now this is quite an expensive mouse and uh, these Logitech mouse, uh, they do play up after a while. And this is one of the big problems that I had uh, with this particular mouse and also the scroll wheel was stopping to work. So let's take a look on the screen right now and see whether we're getting any sort of cursor on the screen. I'll take you back up on the screen. You can see it's now suddenly appeared. And this happens quite a bit with this mouse. I'm not sure what's going on, but basically that should resolve the wireless mouse issue if you reset your wireless mouse. Make sure you check the batteries if it does have it, and uh, that way you should be pretty much good to go. I'll also show you a way to uninstall the driver for the mouse. Uh, if you can't control it on your desktop I'll show you how to do that using your keyboard push the windows and x key and this will open up the menu system right here then use your down arrow key to come down to device manager push return or enter on the keyboard and this will open up the window then you can push tab to highlight the very top to go into the text here now use your arrow key to come down the menu so I'm going to navigate down until we see mice and other pointing devices so once we get down to here just one more down we need to use our right cursor arrow on the keyboard to open up the mice and other pointing devices so we can see the selection here so let's go ahead and do that and now we can use the down arrow key to select hid compliant mouse once we do this we need to push another two keys, which is Shift F10, and this will open up the other menu that we need to be able to uninstall that driver. So push Shift F10 together, and you should see it populate on the screen. And now we can use the down arrow key to go to uninstall device. So use your down arrow key, and then we need to push Enter or the return key, and then this will give us the uninstall device window and now push return or enter again. And this will start to uninstall the driver. Now push Alt F4, and this will close off the device manager window and take us back to the desktop. Now, if you're not at the desktop, you can push the Windows and D key, and this will take you back to the desktop. Now we need to push Alt and F4, and this will open up the shutdown Windows box. And now just push return or enter, and this will shut down the computer. Now, once we've shut down the computer, you can power it back on. And once it's powered back on, you'll boot up to the desktop and hopefully your mouse uh, cursor or pointer will be working correctly. And you should see it on the screen right now. It's now working. And this is a common problem with a lot of mice, especially Logitech. But if you do have this issue, try these methods and hopefully you'll be back up and running in no time if you still have any issues, then there may be a fault with your mouse. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.